there is a dimension of peace that only comes when justice is administered and these are the systems of justice number one is restoration number two is speed number three is favor number four is judgment oh yes sir judgment is a system of favor hmm. it says the rod of the wicked psalms 125 and verse 3 the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous because listen do you know that there is a way the wicked prevails over the righteous it discourages the righteous until they join that wickedness too are we together the rod of the wicked shall not rest on the inheritance of the righteous why so that the righteous will not put forth their hands in iniquity when a man refuses to pay you your salary or your due for five years he's tempting you to steal that's not your character but under that pressure you can dance into wickedness judgment is a powerful system of justice psalm 63 66 i think verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power there are enemies who do not answer stories they they they, they are people who do not accept negotiation the system of putting them down is justice can i tell you this this god that gives life also kills the blood of jesus that you plead all the time blesses and lifts you like the ark of noah but there are people that go down under that blood are we together judgment is a powerful weapon of justice you will never find peace in your life until certain works of darkness are judged and judged thoroughly and so pharaoh refused to let god's people go moses negotiated with him i come with a voice of peace and pharaoh said nonsense god said i warn you you don't know who is talking to you he said nonsense he said all right this night my angel will pass over egypt Tali Paratosia. since you will not understand the voice of peace let me show you the dimension of me as a fearful warrior god is not only lamb he is lion so when you come as a lamb and the door does not open you go back and return back as a lion is someone ready to pray shout it say father arise judge every wickedness over my life my family lift your voice and pray and the lord of peace himself the Lord of peace himself shall give me peace always by all means someone is praying someone is crying the God of vengeance the God of judgment hallelujah look up the bible talks about two brothers called cain and abel he said in the passage of time one both of them offered sacrifices are we together now one gave of his firstlings one gave of his fatlings and the sacrifice of abel ascended to the heavens came as a sweet smelling server but god had no respect for that of cain and then the bible says cain killed his brother and he thought the matter was done. but he did not know that blood has a voice the blood of abel went to the parliament of heaven and began to cry like that weak woman and god came down and said cain there is blood crying and cain said am i my brother's keeper he said all right 
this curse is upon you by reason of this you will be a wanderer all across restoration is a system of justice speed is a system of justice favor is a system of justice judgment and vengeance is a system of justice one more time you are going to pray father anyone who will not let me rest and not let me serve my god in peace anyone who will not let my family rest anyone who will not let my spiritual life rest human or spirit judgment right now lift your voice and pray and the lord of peace himself and the lord of peace himself shall give me peace always and by all means hallelujah hallelujah the bible lets us know that once upon a time blessings to you sir that there were people who bound themselves with fasting and say we will not eat till paul dies you will be joking to imagine that everybody in your world is clapping for you there are people who your accident is their testimony there are people who the destruction of your children is their pride we live in a world that the Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. You cannot find peace until a system of justice is administered in your life. For some you need restoration. For some you need speed. That's, that's how to manage time. For some you need favor. But for some you need vengeance. Hallelujah. Listen, because Jesus was born, innocent children died because moses was born innocent children died every time a thing of grace is born there are people and things that pay the price the day god lifts you and brings you into a new position here they come strange spirits wicked spirits fighting and sitting on the destinies of men son of man zechariah 1 18 what seest thou he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against judah against jerusalem he says so that no man doth lift up his head there are horns that sit on destinies please hear me it's not all about systems and principles there are demons demons are real spirits are real Did you know from scripture that the first person who was called was not Abraham? Read your Bible. The first person who was called was his father, Terah. The Bible talks about a woman who was a widow at Nain. All the men in her life died. The support systems died. And the Lord of peace shall give you peace always by any means. One more time we are going to pray father in this season i need peace and in the name of jesus every power and every factor that will not give me peace let god arise and let his enemies be scattered lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray hallelujah three scriptures and i'm done three scriptures and i'm done psalm 4 verse 8 please give it to us psalm 4 verse 8 we're going to pray three scripture i will both lay me down in peace and sleep why for the lord only makes me to dwell in safety you're going to say lord it's time to bring me to a place of rest and peace only god can give you rest in peace does not mean die 
it means the absence of troubles from your life it is true that challenges can arise but god is able to ward them and give you peace lift your voice and pray this scripture i will lie down and i will sleep nothing will take away sleep from my eyes not the pandemic not the workings of evil is someone praying peace for my family peace for my children hallelujah leviticus 26 and verse 6 leviticus 26 and verse 6 we're praying this is a prayer session ha huh. and i will give peace in the land and ye shall lie down and none shall make you afraid i will read evil beasts out of the land neither shall the sword go through your land i'd like you to pray over your listen if you are fine in your house and your territory is not safe you are still in trouble don't make the mistake of esther esther was comfortable in the palace and mordecai said don't you think if this land is not safe they will kill us and come for you lift your voice and speak over the territory we command and we decree peace we ensure justice oh god arise someone is praying pray over lagos pray over our nation we declare peace we declare peace peace to god's jerusalem the sound of the sword the sound of bloodshed the sound of killings we decree and declare that they come to an end Peace in my family, peace in my territory. Hallelujah. Last scripture, Numbers chapter 6. They were commanded to bless, and in verse 26, Numbers chapter 6 and verse 26. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and he says, To give you. God is able to give men peace. He says, peace I give you. My peace I live with you, not as the world gives. Peace. A state of rest. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Don't forget what I shared with you and the times to pray. That there is a dimension of peace that only comes to the saints when justice is administered. And that scattered through scripture are God's systems of justice. One is restoration. Two is speed. Three is favor. Four is judgment. And vengeance. Are we together? Peace. Peace. You are going to pray this. That the Lord will lift up his countenance upon you. And that God will give you peace. A state of rest. A state of tranquility a strength of a state of completeness and wholeness lift your voice and pray that prayer let it be from the depth of your heart and then I speak over your life you are the Prince of Peace hallelujah let's wrap up with the scripture we started with philippians 4 and verse 6 fight anxiety reject anxiety be anxious for nothing let nothing sustain the ability to disturb your heart jesus took a whole chapter talking about worrying matthew chapter 6 that which of you by worrying can add a cubit to his hair that the lilies they break a fundamental law they do not sow they do not reap yet your heavenly father is responsible enough to see that they don't beg he said for after these things do the gentiles run but your heavenly father know it he knows what you need anxiety listen to me it's my final word for tonight 
anxiety is a killer many people do you know that statistic tells us that most of the things we worry and we're anxious over never truly happen we cause all kinds of stress for ourselves if god is awake why should i be awake the keeper of israel if i'm awake to pray and fellowship with him that's fine but if i'm awake out of fear i reject it you must fight fear like you fight demons it says and subject and to subject them who through fear have all their lifetime been subject to bondage fear and anxiety will i die will the pandemic destroy my family where will this come from what if i am downsized fear is terrible it works on your emotions the bible says god has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind every time angels appear to people the first thing they say is fear not i'm coming from his presence do not fear say in the name of jesus i reject anxiety please hear me some of you have not slept for a long time not because you are busy but you wake up in the night asking questions that people of faith should not ask there is a god in heaven we were not left alone and i want you to know that god is almighty i know that we hear all kinds of things from the news we hear all kinds of things from society but let me bring you a word of hope one of the systems for administering peace is justice and you must provoke the tokens of justice in prayer bring restoration bring speed to my life bring favor to my destiny bring vengeance to the works of darkness that way you can find peace to serve god acceptably are we blessed let me declare over your life lending my voice with our father and all the servants of god here i decree and declare by the spirit of grace that everything that will not let you rest let it be laid to rest now and everything that finds your destiny let it go down now i pray for you for the years that you have lost may my god who is also your god bring speedy restoration and i pray like it happened to elijah may speed come upon your life that god would take what would have happened in five years and make it happen for you in two months and then i pray favor according to exodus 3 21 the cure for empty handedness from today you will never go empty in the name of jesus christ god will raise helpers of destiny men anointed to stand by you and see to it that the purposes of god come to pass and finally i pray for you whether human agents spiritual agents yokes and curses of darkness that want to lift up them their their heads or oh, and spy upon your liberty by the blood of the eternal covenant we declare judgments this evening therefore i speak to your heart find peace find peace over your family peace over your job peace over your health peace oh it will not kill you it will not kill you in the name of jesus you do not live by the sword so you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus the grace that has kept people through the vicissitudes of life and kept them afloat and on top may that grace grant you speed and grant you victory in the mighty name of jesus